I'm very excited about teaching you swing and this is actually part of the outline to move on to building interfaces so we're actually moving on to that piece right there the first question you're going to ask is what in the heck is swing okay so I have a nice little Wikipedia article that you can go to but basically swing is the primary Java GUI widget toolkit it is part of the Sun Microsystems of Java Foundation classes JFC and an API for providing a graphical user interface uh, for the GUIs uh, for Java programs. Swing was developed to provide a more sophisticated set of uh, interfaces and uh, it, it, in a sense it kind of ping-pongs off the abstract Windows toolkit. Now the OT or abstract Windows toolkit is basically is an older version and uh, we used to suffer through that in the old days. It's kind of a heavy architecture where in a sense the uh, Swing is a lighter architecture but it's still built on AWT. Uh, the thing about Swing is that it is very easy to use it's built on what's called the MVC architecture, the model view control architecture. Adobe also started building its new Spark architecture in the same way. So let's go ahead and take a look at a swing component real quick here. I got my swing demo. You can see how easy and how much nicer this is going to be than the system console that you've been using. So let's use our little swing array method. So it looks a little bit more complicated, like you said. But one thing you're going to need to do is import uh, some classes, like the swing classes, for example. And then you're going to actually use those. But it's going to look just like the same code you've been writing already. You're just importing something, and you're using the interface like something else. Let's run this real quick. And now you've got this nice little interface. You see that? And, it's all, and what this is going to do is it's going to have you enter in, I believe, five numbers. And it's going to give you the max value of those five numbers. So if I put in 30, for example, and then I, yeah, you're starting to like this now because you're starting to think, okay, now I can use this financially. Put in 3, I put in 67, I put in uh, 3, and I put in 99, and it should output my max number. I think it does, does that to the console. Let me bring that up. And the num max number was 99. All right. And so what you're going to find is going to be very easy to build these interface widgets using Swing. And I'm very excited about teaching that to you next time. So now we're... Uh-huh. Are you running it? Isn't it cool? And so we're going to actually essentially be building... I'm going to explain all the architecture to you next time. I'm going to go through all the Swing components. And we're going to be building throughout the rest of the course these different Swing, swing uh, things. And then we'll move on to, to, to Java 3D from that point. Uh, let me show you the tic-tac-toe game. Now, you're supposed to look at this and kind of figure it out. And then we'll go through it in detail next time after we do the whole swing architecture. This is an important point, to, I believe, to introduce the interfaces now. Because I think this is where you lose a lot of people. You get to the point where you do, hey, I do a control structures. I understand arrays. I've done, uh, you know, methods. And I've done uh, looping. So, heck, you know, why don't I build something that I can use? And I think people just go on and keep, keep doing Java, Java, Java and never get to this. And I think it's an important point to introduce it now. So we're throwing, we're skipping ahead of where everyone typically does this. But I think you're going to like it. Now, here's the tic-tac-toe game. Let me bring it up. This is your assignment to look at this and see if you can understand it. All right? And then we'll go through it in detail next time. But what you're going to see immediately is I am using the OT structure, AWT, because Swing sits on top of that. And I am importing the Swing components. Now, notice I used a dot star. What is that star? What is that? Do you remember what that's called? Yeah. It's a wild card. Absolutely, you got it right on. And so that means that all the Swing components, when I do that, all the Swing components will actually have access to those. So uh, that's bringing all the possible swing components. Now, you can see immediately J button is a swing component, and I'll automatically have access to it. And so J button is going to be that little button that I'm used for my tic-tac-toe. You see that? And so you automatically can start understanding that. And there's a lot to go through the next lecture, but you're going to enjoy this a lot. I'm sure you will. So let's go and run the tic-tac-toe and see what it looks like. So let's run that. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, this is great because you really, you really didn't do a lot to get this. All right? And you got this beautiful looking nice tractor structure. And you can start playing tic-tac-toe. All right? And let's see. Hey, I won. I beat myself. Why don't you bring it up and play it? So I want to tell you that I think you're going to really like a swing architecture. One thing I like about it, it's so easy to use. If you just look at the code, it looks like all the Java you've been writing before, but suddenly you're bringing in all these advanced interfaces, and you can really work hard in certain programs to bring in interfaces that look this nice. And so they've done a real good job with these. And like I said, this has been out for a while. It's nothing that's brand new. But we're certainly going to be working on using those uh, and learning how to use those. All right, absolutely. All the ifs and else's that we've learned before, You'll probably look at this and you'll be able to understand this pretty well.
Okay, so your, your, your assignment for this week is actually look at the Tic-Tac-Toe project, see if you can understand it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go through the entire swing architecture. You're going to learn how to make every single component, all right? And then you'll be able to start incorporating those in the programs as we move forward. So we'll take the MIT lectures from now on and say, hey, now put swing in it, okay? And now add this swing component.